so here we are at another condo and um, how many bedrooms and bathrooms does this condo have? This condo has two bedrooms and two baths and it's completely furnished and turnkey ready and this apartment is really about the views. It has views everywhere from every yeah. bedroom and uh, and you can in the kitchen even see downtown to the, the Blue Domes, which is our kind of iconic historic uh, area. And uh, so it's really, it's a very special apartment at a very affordable price. So well, this one here is a penthouse, right? This is a penthouse. So we're on the top and it's 24 hour security. 24 hour security, it's, it's not a, a security building per se, mm -hmm. but the security guard, Diego, uh, lives here and so he's always available. He's super nice. He's very helpful to take up groceries or suitcases or whatever and uh, He's right on the premises. So it's it's a really a very nice deal And one of the things you did mention about this condo is it does have a parking space It has a parking space that's interior underground But it also has kind of a if you're speeding and quickly wanting to drop groceries and run up the apartment, it has a parking space right out in front of the building too. So Perfect. you're kind of back to back with the buildings in the in-between. Yeah. And where are we located? We are about a 10 minute walk to downtown and a 10 minute walk to Supermarket, <laughs> Supermaxi, our big supermarket. And uh, so we're in an, a residential area. It was one of the first residential areas that was built in this area. So this building is probably 20 years old but it's super well maintained and uh, this particular apartment was completely refurbished about eight years ago. So it's very modern and as I said, all the furnishings are included. And, right. and uh, well, let's yeah. have a peek. Let's have a peek at this. Yeah. So I want whales today. Well, we're going to see both. And we're going to see some sea lions as well. Loving life here in Ecuador and the positives outweigh any negatives and that my friends is called living the life you love. So we walk into the main room and we are basically in the living room, dining room kind of area yeah. here. Yeah. And, and you said turnkey, so all the furniture comes with this they place. They even have a juicer in this place. <laughs> oh, gotta have the That's juicer. amazing. And so, I mean, look at the views. Large really windows are. with lots of sunlight coming in here. Mm -hmm. And all the windows open, so you've got a nice opportunity for cross breeze. Like, yeah, this would be a spectacular view at nighttime, for sure. Yeah. yeah. As you walk into the kitchen, uh, which has a nice bar, you can sit in a couple of people here. A nice big kitchen. Yeah, and granite countertops. Um, this is real wood, not pressed board, and that's something that you don't always see. And it does come with everything you need. It's got the microwave and a gas stove and a teapot and coffee pot, washer and dryer, and uh, a refrigerator. So there's very little you would have to buy. And I want to point out this view where you can see the domes and the downtown. So you can see how yeah. close we are to downtown. Oh, yeah. That's very walkable. Very walkable. That would look really cool at nighttime. Seeing it's that. so pretty at yeah, nighttime. I bet. And you can see it from one of the bedrooms, too. So. 
So I, I advertise this one as views, views, views. <laughs> and you got an oven too. There's a lot of places don't always have ovens. Yeah, in well, you know, and if you buy from an Ecuadorian, uh, often in Cuenca, they will take everything, including light bulbs. I mean, yeah. they just take I've everything. Heard that. <laughs> Americans are very surprised, and North Americans are very surprised to see that appliances aren't included, or you know, different things, light fixtures that you were expecting. And so it's something you know you have to kind of ask when you're buying what's included and yeah, make sure yeah. that you know what you're getting so that there's a, not a surprise and an additional cost when you yeah. actually purchase the unit. Beautiful uh, floors too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, he used a very high end materials. Uh, it was a North American who renovated it. Okay. So off the main living room is a guest room that could be either a guest room or a primary. It's got beautiful views, as you can see, you really do have a panoramic view of downtown. And again, at night, it's just spectacular with all the lights. The domes are glowing in blue color, so it's it's a very pretty site. It's a decent sized room. Yeah, it's a nice size. It's a size bed in here. Beautiful wardrobe, all wood. And you have the hanging, you've got the drawers, you've got whatever you need. In, different configurations so yeah no, that's great and then it's on suite another a bathroom this is the side. guest room wow nice this is currently used as a guest room it's really what they're about the same size and they're both nice. on suite so you can yeah. decide where you wanted to sleep or switch <laughs> yep and there's the view right over downtown And it looks like lots of places to walk and eat oh, and there's everything. Tons. It's, there's uh, tons. And you can see the tram right there. Yeah. And that goes right on this main street, so you don't have to walk maybe five blocks, six blocks, and you can get the tram that takes you further into downtown and all the way to the airport. That's great. It's now, what's the HOA fee for this? It's, I believe, 81. I'll double check, but I think it's 81. Hey, anything under 100 is cheap. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I like the cove ceilings and the architectural detail. This is actually doubling, and watch your step, this is doubling as a um, as a guest bathroom off the living room, kind of a Jack and Jill thing. Yes. And so then it goes into the primary oh bedroom yeah. as well. So this as well, beautiful doors. Pop it over here. Okay, let us in, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Ashley. Thank you. So, I'm sorry, this room doesn't have a view. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, geez, I just feel like I'm like right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really nice right. big yeah. windows. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And they all open, and so that's really nice because oh, yeah. you've got fresh air coming in. Yeah. And some more uh, wardrobe, built in wardrobe there. And then this door goes out to the living area. So you, you've got kind of a circular motion. And, and it's all self-contained, but it's really, really nice. And because of the windows, it feels so open yeah, and yeah. bright and light. We're in a cloudy day here. And I, I have to say, during the really sunny times, you almost have to put all the blinds down. It's so well, it's nice. very spacious in the uh, this whole area in here, for sure. Now, based on the size and location, we haven't talked about price yet, but to me, it's kind of screaming out investment property. It would be a great investment property. Because you could rent this probably very easily with walking distance to downtown. Yeah. yeah. And if you're only here for four or five, six months a year, you don't have to worry about temporary visas and all that kind right. of stuff. And yeah. rent this and together. digital nomads that come. Yeah. The, the, the kind of beauty of something like this is it's not smack in the middle of downtown, so you're not getting the buses, you're not getting the fumes you're not getting the the chaos that sometimes can be part of the fun but also yeah noisy if you're especially if you're a digital nomad and working at home this is a 10 minute walk and all the way down to the walk in, in town there's restaurants there's stores there's all kinds of things so you're in a, a more of a quiet area but you're 10 minutes from the action so let's let's go into this uh, beautiful kitchen one more time, and uh, we'll discuss what the price of this place is. So, um, just to recap, it, two bedrooms, 
um, two baths, two was baths it, that them. we saw. A beautiful kitchen, everything included in this place. The fridge, the stove, washer, dryer, microwave, juicer. <laughs> juicer. <laughs> You're getting good at this, Chris. You might want to consider real estate <laughs> part-time and alone, eh? So how much uh, is this place, or this are they is asking? a really, really good price. It's $120,000. Wow. That's pretty darn good. It is. That it really is. is. Wow. Yeah. That's great price. And you're like yeah. right downtown yeah. with restaurants, shopping. Yeah, you're very, very close to everything. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for a furnished two-bedroom, it's, it's a penthouse yeah. with views. <laughs> and parking. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. I, I think that this will probably sell very quickly. I would think so too, yeah. Great and if place. you don't want to do it as an investment property, just think like the average house right now is selling in the United States for just over $400,000. Obviously, some are way more than that and some are less depending on where in the States. But let's just use the average. Let's say you're, you're 50 and you want to retire early, you sell your place, you buy something like this for 120 down in Ecuador, and then you got an extra three hundred thousand to uh, get ten uh, percent a year on on uh, CDs down here, and there's your retirement at fifty. There you go. <laughs> you should buy it. Yeah, yeah I just convinced down. myself. I want to buy it. All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, the tour oh, of this thank place. Thank you so much. So this is the entrance to this um, penthouse, and just look at the beautiful floors in here. Yeah, they're great. And this came with a new renovation. So they've got the original wood that they refurbished, and then the original floors that they really did a beautiful job on. Mm -hmm. And really? the skylight, so when you come up here, even at night, everything, the lights turn on, and, and you've got a nice light, bright place to open yeah. your door. Very and nice. although you see the railing, you take the elevator to the fourth floor. You're That's not correct. going up five floors of stairs. That's right. So That's here we are again at another property. We are. This um, is in a gated little complex. Mm -hmm. Want to tell us about uh, the area? And sure. This is this is a really great location. We are literally about a five minute walk, eight minute walk to downtown. Um, we're in downtown, but we're in a little residential enclave. So if you want to have the downtown experience, but you want a quieter residential neighborhood, uh, this is the place. It's wonderful. It's also an investment property, so that it has a, a, a beautiful uh, three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath house here with a garden. And then above, it has a rental unit or an Airbnb unit or a guest house mother-in-law suite, however you want to use it, but it, that is fully furnished, turnkey ready, and so uh, uh, an immediate income potential for somebody who wants to have a, their own home, but a little business on the side. Like you can see the um, the gardens up there. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Yeah, no, it's very pretty, and there's even another stairway that get, gives you a whole panoramic view of the, the area. So one thing I'd like to show everybody is beautiful windows and doors here that uh, are with this house here. And what's nice is the beautiful. rental unit or the Airbnb unit is a separate entry. So you never have to go through the house of the owners oh, nice. to get to it. They, they meet you, they greet you, they give you the key and then everybody's independent. Perfect. Well, shall we um, come in and do a little tour? Yeah, please. <laughs> So here we are, we're in the entry. Yeah, this and is the main house. This is beautiful. Yeah. Um, I love the, um, the architecture in here. Mm -hmm. This is, um, the owners are uh, actually the woman of the owners at, grew up in this house. So oh. it's a really old house, but she happened to meet and fall in love with a contractor from the <laughs> United States. And when they got together, they revamped and refurbished and did all of the new electronics and everything is brand new in here. So it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really pretty. You've got the combination of the old and the new, which is yeah. really nice. Which way should we start? Let's go here. Let's go this way. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so as you walk into the main house. Oh my God, look at this beautiful door. Yeah, I'll show you what's behind that door in a minute. But I wanted to show you the open space oh, wow. and the indoor-outdoor feel, which mm -hmm. I really love. 
they have their doors open. I've never been here when the doors weren't open. And uh, so it's, it's really, it feels like you're in nature, but again, it's so quiet, you know, you're so close to downtown. Got a big island, we've got a five burner stove. I'll be with the dishwasher? Uh, it is. And all the appliances come here. This is not a furnished property, but there are things that could be negotiable if they're not sentimental, but the appliances and the built-ins will stay. Now, it has these little nice things where you can pull things out, pantry. Nice pantry. Nice area for all the extra things that you have. It has a big, beautiful refrigerator, as you can see, freezer. Lots of food because there's a growing boy in this house <laughs> and a wine rack and enough for you know six people to sit around in the kitchen oh, for sure. and sure and just have a casual casual meal. That's this a gorgeous is a free kitchen. Uh, kitchen for, and then a, yeah. a little coffee center, which is oh, I love awesome. how it's built in yeah. like that. I love great. It. You know exactly where to go to get what you need <laughs> in yep. the morning. Yep. There's <laughs> coffee there, wine over there, uh, everything's yep. perfect. It's it's <laughs> very nice. I love too. Um, I'm just seeing the ceilings here. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. they're um, like the skylights. Yeah. What's interesting about this place is it was all skylights, and then they found out that it was just too hot, mm. and so they they created you know little shafts of light that keep you warm and keep you uh, uh, bright, yeah. but you're not being drenched in the sunlight. So it's a really nice feature and architecturally then it looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So here we have kind of an open concept with a dining room and a living room. One of the best features of this living room is this fireplace that is European and it does not produce any smoke, any backing. It's just, it's a wood fireplace. You can get wood delivered in Quantico. And on the chilly nights, you know, when you want to close the door, you've got this big, beautiful, warm fireplace mm -hmm. and a little seating area if you want to really curl up and have a book and very uh, cozy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, as I say, we. Oh, I love the doors. Yeah, the doors are really beautiful. And as you can see, they're the original beams from the old house were preserved so that you could have a little accent of something that was real. Oh, and they beautiful. actually even made a, uh, a coffee table out of this that oh, wow. would oh, stay. Wow. But you know, they had yeah. the sentimental feel of the, the family house as well as, as all the new modern features, which is really nice. So then we have a nice little, um, like a terrace out yeah. here. Yeah, the terrace is great because it's both indoor and outdoor. So you've got a covered spot that you can sit here and listen to the rain and be warm and cozy or you've got the outdoor area where you can put a grill and you know have a bigger table if you wanted to or sit and have your wine <laughs> and uh, and grow plants and i love this little feature oh, this, so is, beautiful, this is this is original place. too this little water oh, yeah. spigot <laughs> neat yeah oh yeah <laughs> and again the uh the architecture the and the, the beams, beams are beautiful. And the woodworking is really beautiful. And obviously all these doors open and close up. So yeah, they open up yeah. all the way. So you can open them up partially, just get a little air. You yeah. can really have the indoor-outdoor feel, which is great. Great. Now, I'm going this way because if I lived here, this would be my bedroom <laughs> because I love it right off of the terrace. Right, right. And it's cozy. It's like a nap kind of place. And yet it has a bathtub and it's en suite. Oh my gosh, look at the beautiful bathroom in here. And like you said, bathtub, which not everybody in Ecuador yeah. has bathtubs. And even a step up bathtub. Yes. So. <laughs> and, and the, the skylight. And yeah. the mosaic. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. And a good size. Also has a little desk, so if you want to be working, you can do that. Lots of closet space. And then we have a pull down attic. Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm not going to pull it all the way down, but you can see. Yep. I used to have a house with one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It goes almost the length of this whole room. So oh. it's a really big space. Big so for Christmas ornaments or holiday decorations or 
the yeah. grandchildren who want to camp. Exactly. I love mm -hmm. the floors. Let's the talk floors about are original, original right? Yeah. yeah, you can yeah. definitely tell original flooring and um, original bricks out there. Yeah. And like I love the um, the light that they have over here. Yeah. They've done a nice little job. detail up on the uh, wainscoting. And again, a skylight that you can move with a, oh, right. a shade and decide if it's a hot day and you want a little yeah. coolness, you can close it. If it's not, you can open it up. A little step up here. Watch your step, Mike. <laughs> and then you go down and it's, it's kind of a mystery house <laughs> because there's all these little areas. Here is a very large storage and laundry facility. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. It's a vented and it has also the area where the Church key can come heat. out. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it's very spacious. Very spacious. Yep. Okay, so off the kitchen is another guest room. And this is facing um, the outdoors, but at night it's super, super quiet. And it's also ensuite, and it also has a desk and store oh, nice. and closet space. So this is a really nice guest bedroom. Um, could be an office. Could be an office too. Be yeah. a great office. Oh, nice. And uh, beautiful detail on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of little extras here. Yeah. And real wood for the most part, which is also very nice. Yeah. Closet. And then I see just um, yeah, on this side here. There's actually a, a little area. So if somebody comes in and just wants to wash their hands and not have to do much else, it's here. If you have to go to the bathroom, of course, there's a little small nice. bathroom, guest bathroom right there. Nice. So, so smart splitting it. Yeah. Out yeah, because when you have ensuite bedrooms, you, you're always having to go through somebody's bedroom. Yeah. yeah. And so it's nice to just, it, it doesn't have to be a big thing, but you've got both things that you need to do, so you're great. So now if we go back by the front door. So this is the primary bedroom, and it's kind of a surprise because it's really big. They step up. Again, the architecture. Mm -hmm. Love that. And uh, wow. lo a lot of light. Mm -hmm. Nice big room, sitting big area. Room, sitting area, TV area. Again, the uh, original hardwood mm -hmm. flooring. And then here you have his and her closets behind nice. frosted glass. So you don't really have to look, and yet there's a nice oh, configuration wow. and a lot of space for different things. And then I'll let you go into the bathroom, the master primary bath. Nice. Good size. See, Chris, if we owned this place, I would just stay in this section. I could just live here. Hmm. This you is could something join me whenever to, uh, you want. consider here. <laughs> Beautiful. Like well, we go to that, that end. That means mean he gets a closet. <laughs> <laughs> I rethink that, Chris. <laughs> he and my little has office more here. <laughs> I can entertain over here. This is actually a really great uh, space. Eh? It actually is. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. It's really nice. I think it's the kitty's favorite room. I can they tell. Three, Smart kitties. Three kitties. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then once again we walk out. And we can go upstairs to see the Airbnb unit, oh, the rental about. unit. Yes, and, uh, there's an add-on over yeah. this. Okay. So here we are right now. We're um, upstairs in the Airbnb part of the house. And uh, do you want to tell us how much do they rent this out for? Yeah, sure. This is a great um, house and investment property if, if that's what you're looking for, or you can have it as a mother-in-law suite. You mm -hmm. could have it as a private office if you work from home. You could, you know, there's a multitude of things that you could do with For this. sure. But as an Airbnb, it's great, and people love it because we're so close to downtown. So for a long rental term, which they do sometimes, it's seven fifty a month. For a nightly stay, and there's a minimum of two or three nights, it's $45 a night. 
and then he will do a sliding scale depending on how long you mm -hmm. stay to yeah. make it a little bit more affordable and and Which and enjoyable. A lot of places do that. Yeah, the sliding yeah. Scale. Those are great prices. We yeah. haven't even walked in there yet, but I can tell for forty five dollars a night. This is this is amazing. Yeah, look so at the right now yeah. we're like uh, in the what what do you call this? Like a patio terrace yeah. kind of thing here. All the beautiful plants and flowers. It, your your uh, chairs to relax in. Sitting here. Um, beautiful doors. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's something up there we can check yeah, out later. Yeah, we definitely can. Okay. So please come in. So. You walk in right away or into the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Great kitchen. It's it's a really well equipped kitchen. It comes again with the, everything that you see, um, except for maybe that power cord and computer. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, it has glasses and napkins and place mats and uh, sheets and the TV and the furniture. Everything. So the furniture up, up here is yes, included. It's Absolutely okay. included as a, a perfect what a turkey, great space. furnished space. It's very open, open concept. So you feel yes. like you're more like in a, a little tiny house than an mm -hmm. Airbnb. You're not squished yeah. in, a, and it has everything that you need to cook and to enjoy. Yeah. And of course, another great view over the hills there. Yeah, and you're only one block from Cale Larga, which is one of the main streets on the river. So you can walk to the river in like three minutes. And the location's uh, that's wonderful. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect location. It is a great location. It really is. This, is. this is one of the better locations if you're looking for the downtown experience, but not smack in the middle of the city. Nice uh, living room, TV, mm -hmm. uh, blinds. Yeah, I love the little lighting up in there too. No, they've done a really nice job on this. And they have these open doors, so you also have the opportunity to have the indoor outdoor experience. And then another door just to keep the, the breezes coming from the very large bedroom. Nice bedroom, yeah. Great size. Yeah. Lots and of closet the space. Closet space here. And a little desk even, so yeah, you know, if you want to sit at the kitchen table and do your computer work, you can sit right there. And uh, another nice bathroom in this place here yeah, with a window, which is great. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, I think anybody that is coming to Cuenca for the first time or the twelfth time would like to stay here. I, yeah, he, he has all five star reviews. Oh, so okay. um, it's really been a popular. He's popular a super place. host. Yes, he is. That's Have a good exactly right. yeah. peek there once again of the whole area up here. We could have stayed here if we knew. <laughs> So uh, everything is on its own uh, individual electrical currents up here. The washing machine, the lights, the gas, everything is separate from the downstairs unit. So you have a very easy way of tracking how expensive this is and how expensive what you're paying for your own home. So if someone didn't want to do Airbnb, because of that, they could have a long-term rental here Absolutely. and have all those expenses going to that Absolutely, person. yeah. They, in fact, had... Um, uh, a person that stayed about eight months, I think, and she just loved it here. So I can see why. It's yeah, it is. Yeah. It's great. Mm -hmm. So let's let's go to the the very top rooftop, sure. and we'll discuss some prices there. Uh, the space is great. So you go down these steps, and it has the Airbnb has its own um, private entrance. private en entrance. Yeah, and then you come up here. Your own nice. little, uh, I can tell you that the sun sets up here are beautiful. Yep, I have your glass of wine watching the sunset. Look at these plants. I just love this kind of stuff too. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beautiful plants up here. Mountain views, Mountain city views. views. Yeah. See the mountain over there with the uh, clouds. When you're in Cuenca for uh, New Year's Eve, fireworks happen everywhere. And this is the perfect kind of place where you just kind of turn around and see them. And 
every turn. So, should we discuss um, price with this place? So, keep in mind, there's two um, dwellings. So, we have the main house, which is beautiful. Right. Um, and then we also have a little mother-in-law suite. Yeah, it's a um, thousand and forty-four square feet. So, it's, it's a decent size Airbnb or mother-in-law suite. So, the price for the entire thing is 319000 Oh, that's that great. That includes both homes, a furnished apartment, and then an unfurnished but with appliances and select furnishings in the main house. Yeah, that's great. And it's right, pretty much right downtown. Like you it are, really is. You're in within five walking minutes, you distance. can walk to an outdoor restaurant. That is a very popular one in Cuenca. Nice. Well, thanks so much, Ashley. This has been um, a great tour. Oh, I'm so happy they're here, and I hope you come back. We will and definitely be back. And okay. We've really enjoyed our day with you, it's looking at all of these great places. <laughs> We're going to put all your contact information, yep, your wonderful. website. Thank you. And this Airbnb is great. We should put the Airbnb link as well. Yeah, we should. To this yeah. Place. Oh, yeah. I would love that. As that would well. be great. And we'll put that in. Yeah. yeah. So thanks so much. And the next it, time we're in Cuenca, so we're going to do it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. I look forward to it. <laughs> thanks. So we're just heading back, right, Chris? We are heading back. And um, just wanted to say, Victor here was our driver. And uh, he does uh, this kind of thing for people. So if you're looking, uh, if you're in Cuenca and you're looking for somebody to take you around, Victor might be your guy. I have his uh, contact information, and uh, we'll post we that in the video. Post it on the video.